Well, joining us now is Pennsylvania Congressman and member of the House Judiciary Committee, Congressman Guy Resenthaler. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so Thank what, you, 150 transactions flagged as very concerning. Are they very concerning to you or maybe a little bit more? They're incredibly concerning to me, Heather. And, and Heather and Bob, as always, please just call me Guy. But it's just not, it's just not these transactions. There is a litany of issues and possible scandals surrounding Hunter Biden and Joe Biden's brother, Jim Biden. We can just go back to Burisma. It's the board that Hunter Biden was sitting on. He was making $1 million a year from this uh, natural gas company in Ukraine. Hunter Biden knows nothing about natural gas. It just so happened that his dad was the vice president at the time in charge of Ukrainian foreign policy or United States foreign policy in regard to Ukraine. What about the connections to the oligarchs in Russia, in Moscow? What about the fact that Hunter Biden flew on Air Force Two with then Vice President Joe Biden, went to China, and then returned with a billion-dollar hedge fund? These are just things, these are a lot of questions that I'm looking forward to uh, exploring an oversight investigation when the Republicans take control of the House this fall. Between now and then, what do you think you would be able to do? Well, there's very little we can do because, let's be clear about one thing, the Democrats do not want to investigate Hunter Biden. They don't want to talk about Hunter Biden. They want to pretend like this isn't happening. And we've seen them suppress these stories, maybe not the Democrat Party, but certainly the legacy media, certainly big tech. Remember when they uh, shadow banned anybody that was sharing that New York Post article about the so-called laptop from hell that had a bunch of information connecting uh Joe Biden to uh, having money set aside in these business transactions for the quote unquote big guy emails where Hunter Biden is telling his siblings that don't worry, I'm not going to make you give me half of your salary like pop did. Uh, you'd have to assume when he's talking about his pop, it would be Joe Biden. But we're going to look at that when we retake uh, when we retake the House right now. Nancy Pelosi uh, and Nadler, who's the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, they don't want to talk about this because they know it will suppress their votes. And that's why they suppressed this story with the mainstream media back in November. And polling shows, uh, Bob and Heather, that one in six Biden voters would not have voted for Joe Biden had they known about this laptop story. So thank you, Big Tech, for suppressing this story. And, and if I could just finish this train of thought uh, right now. Remember, we had 150 some so-called intelligence experts that signed a letter saying that this was all Russian disinformation. Where are those experts now to correct that? What about the damage yeah. they've done? So I applaud Jim Jordan and Jamie Comer, who's the ranking member on oversight investigation, for saying that we're going to investigate what those so-called security and intelligence uh, experts were doing. Look at their emails back and forth, because I can tell you, I'm willing to bet that this was a political hit job not an actual product from the intelligence community, uh, can, uh, the intel community. Yeah, and some of those members of the intel community have since doubled down, um, still saying that it, that it in ways is still Russian information. Uh, Senator Chuck Grassley just a short time ago was able to speak with our correspondent Kilmeny Ducart about whether any of the items in this discovery will actually be followed up with a potential criminal probe by the Justice Department. Here's what he had to say. This led us to a point where uh, both uh, uh, Hunter Biden and James Biden have close relationships with uh, Chinese business people that in turn have uh, close relationships or are members of the Communist Party and even tied to the military. And so when there's somebody in the Biden family and we have a President Biden, uh, it's concerning to me uh, whether or not uh, this compromises our, could compromise our national security to any extent. And, and that really is the bottom line here, if it could compromise our national security. I mean, you mentioned Russia, 3.5 million from the First Lady of Moscow. You have $100,000 in an account with Gong Wen Dong from China. You have at least one point, almost 1.5 million for work with Burisma as a board member. You have four, almost $4.8 million in these consulting fees that we're talking about now with this company tied to the Chinese government. Well, of course, of course, they're not paying Hunter Biden because they think he has any kind of marketable skills. They're paying him because his last name is Biden and because he has access to the then vice president and the current president of the United States. That's why he is getting all this money. 
So we've got to do oversight and investigation on this. I, I agree with Senator Grassley on the points he made. Uh, and we should. I've been calling for a special counsel to be appointed now. Start the investigation right now through a special counsel and let's get to the bottom of what's going on. Because it's too. It, if we look at what was happening in Ukraine and why Biden was so hesitant to send aid to Ukraine, I would like to see the connections that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden had with all these oligarchs. We know they were getting money, uh, as you just said, millions of dollars from uh, from the oligarchs of Moscow. Did that impact Joe Biden's unwillingness to assist Ukraine early on? Uh, further, what is the connection with China? So when Ch the Chinese Communist Party attempts to invade Taiwan, who is on the payroll in the Biden family from the Chinese Communist Party? I want to know because that could impact national security. And I know this sounds like these might be the, these might be uh, leaps, um, uh, but it's really not. When when you yeah. have a situation on the international stage where Joe Biden is making these decisions, his son is his son is getting paid by foreign entities and. There's evidence showing that Hunter Biden, I'm sorry, Joe Biden gets 50 percent of Hunter Biden's salary. That yeah. is a that is a glaring issue. Well, you know, I think to your point, it, th there was a time that people on the right were looking at this saying this smells fishy at the very least. But now, look, even media outlets uh, are corroborating other media outlets on both Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. Here, this is from CBS News. Listen. More than 150 transactions involving either Hunter or James Biden's global business affairs were flagged as concerning by U.S. banks for further review. Some of those concerns included large wire transfers. These records come directly from the banks, no third party. You're absolutely right. Okay, now the point there is not the information, which we already have provided the viewers. The point there is it used to be a time that only those on the right were talking about this. Mm -hmm. But anybody who doesn't care about whether their president is for sale, we're not saying he is, or when he was vice president, was that, this all makes people want to know more. What do you think people need to know and how do we get there? Well, well, people do need to know more, Bob. And I just want to make two points about the media beyond beyond conservative media taking uh, notice of this. Now, they can do it for two reasons. Number one, Joe Biden is now president. So there's no damage that can be done that could have been, for example, that could have been done in November leading mm -hmm. up to the election. So it's safe now. Also, Joe Biden's polling numbers are horrible. He's not going to recover, recover from this. So he's a safe target for the Democrats to now uh, to now look at. But what the American people need to know, well, everything that's been uncovered to date, but what is so scary is there's, as Donald Rumsfeld would say, a lot of, un, a lot of known, unknown uh, unknowns, right. uh, where we don't know exactly what the information is. That's why we need the oversight investigation to get to the bottom of this and to expose all the dealings that Hunter Biden and Jim Biden had and, and also explore the connection that Joe Biden had with his with his family making uh, making a profit on his last name. Yeah, yeah. and and the throwing in the Cheney references, known knowns, unknown, the known knowns. unknowns. Unknown I'm unknowns. not sure I butchered that, but the known, known unknowns. unknowns. And some of those unknowns being who else knew about this and was willing to you know uh, push it to the back or or cover it up, um, not put it in the forefront and have if people look into it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Heather. We'll Thank you, Bob. Happens.